Greetings and thank you for giving us this opportunity to come to you today. We trust that you've had a great week and the goodness of God uh, is overflowing in your life each and every day. And remember, no matter what we go through, God is with us. He strengthens us. He carries us through. And He is bringing us into a place of victory. This week we've been meditating in John 15. And today we look at verse 7, where Jesus said, If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. The Lord Jesus is painting for us this beautiful picture of the wine, the wine dresser, the branches, the wine dresser and the branches. And out of that, he's bringing to us this truth about relationship with him, about resourcing that comes from him, about the working of the Father, the mind dresser in our lives, and how all of that results in fruitfulness, which He wants for us. And as He is unveiling all of this truth to us, He makes this amazing statement. He says, look, if you live this kind of life, and of course I'm paraphrasing verse 7, He says, if you live this kind of life where you are abiding in me and my words are abiding in you, but remember, his words are what are cleansing us. He mentioned that in verse 3. His words are pruning us. His words are at work in us. And his words in us is equivalent to him abiding in us. Him living in us. Him letting his life be expressed through us. That's how important the word of God is. If you abide in me and my words abide in you. So many times we look for fruitfulness. Where can I be very fruitful? Where I go here, I go there. Well, the truth, the answer is pretty simple. Let his word abide in you. You abide in me, my words abide in you. He says, you know, you can ask whatever you desire and it will be done for you. Now, I want to highlight a few things when Jesus made that statement. First, notice what he's saying. He's saying, you ask what you desire and it will be done for you. The, the uh, responsibility is on us, because he's saying, you ask what you desire. So part of carrying out kingdom work, part of being fruitful in the kingdom, is us taking initiative. So this is a big difference between a typical branch and us people. A typical branch just stays connected in a very passive mode. But here he is talking us about us being actively involved in the fruit bearing process. He says, you ask what you will. So our will is involved. And secondly, our asking, our pursuing is involved in being fruitful. There's nothing wrong in you and I intentionally pursuing and intentionally asking of God for the things in which we desire to be fruitful. And obviously those are the things He's assigned for our lives. But this comes out of that place of abiding. So He says, when you abide in me, I'm giving you this complete freedom to, be, to take initiative, to ask, and I'll guarantee that it's done. What an opportunity. What a tremendous blessing He's placed on our lives but when we abide in Him and live out of that place of communion with Him. This is the privilege we have. And let's engage with God in this manner. Let's pray. Father, what, what a privilege you've given to us. Help us to understand this. When we are in that place of communion with you, we can take initiative. We can ask and things will be done. It will be fruitful for your kingdom and for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.